Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the second elementary grade. Our book uh, today is uh, uh, We Can Too, and today we're going to cover Unit 2 Friends, Action, and Things. This lesson will be presented by me, Teacher Mazen Al Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al Agil. So let's begin. Our objectives in today's lesson, we hope that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to chant the chant with different kinds of food and taste, also ask questions using want and or, and also express their likes and dislikes and copy each sentence of the chant correctly. So today also we have another chant about food and taste. Before we begin, let's make quick revision on our last lesson. Our last lesson, we have chanted together this chant. It's about a boy who is cycling and playing. And also, we said that they are as happy as can be. Also, the second part of this chant was about uh, uh, Umar and his friend Ali. When we say Umar is talking, Ali is walking. And he is laughing and he is not cycling. Also, the uh, last part of our chant is about a group of uh, friends. And we said that, are they cycling? They are not cycling. We are talking, we are walking as happy as can be. So these the chant that we did, chanted together last time. And also one important thing about last lesson, which is about a grammar. And when we said that when we want to talk about only a one person, we would use he. For example, he is playing. If that person is a man or a boy, we can say, he is playing. And if we want to talk about uh, uh, one person, a girl or a woman, and uh, we're going to use the she by saying, she is playing. She is playing. And if we want to talk about not one person, but two, for example, Umar and Ali. When we want to talk about Umar and Ali, we would say, they are playing. They are playing. And if I want to talk about myself and Umar and Ali, I'm going to say, we are playing. We are playing. Also, we talk about uh, the not, when we are not doing, we use not after uh, uh, he is by saying he is not playing. And after she is by saying she is not playing. We are not sitting. They are not cycling. So this is what we uh, did cover from last time. Now. Let's move on to our uh, uh, lesson for today. I would like you please to open your books on page 14. I would like you please to open your books on page 14. Now, on page 14, as you can see, here we have a chant. And what we are going to do is not only um, going to chant it, but also to write down or copy the same sentence on this line. So, what we're going to do now is that uh, we are going to point and chant. After this, we're going to write down the chant here in this line. So, as you can see, here we have uh, five lines. In front of each of these chant, we're going to write or copy the same here. So, as we did from last time, I'm going to chant first. After I do, I want you to watch me while I point and then 
chant with me. So this chant is about food. It's about taste. The taste of different types or different kinds of food. So let's begin by listening to our first part of this chant. So here we have, Apples are sweet. Apples are sweet. Apples is a fruit, and when we eat apple, it's a sweet. It's like candy. Sweet. Next one, lemons are sour. Lemons are sour. And here we have sweet. The opposite is sour. When you taste lemon, it's not sweet. It is sour. And then, cherries are sweet. Cherries are sweet. As the apple. They are not sour. And finally, my soap is hot. My soap is hot. So, this is our first part of the chant. Now, I'm going to point and chant again. And I want you to chant with me. Apples are sweet. Apples are sweet. Lemons are sour. Lemons are sour. Cherries are sweet. Cherries are sweet. They are not sour. They are not sour. My soap is hot. My soap is hot. So, in this chant, we talk about food. Apples, lemons, cherries, soap. And also we talk about the taste of these uh, food. Now, after we finish chanting, it's very important that you write down the same sentences here in this line. So here we're going to write down this one, apples. And here we talk, uh, we're going to write about lemons and so on. Now let us move on to the second part of this chant. So here we have different types of food. We have different types of food and we're going uh, to talk about uh, these uh, food and also about their taste. Ice cream is cold. Rice is hot. It's not cold. Chips are salty. And they are tasty. Let's eat. So again, I'm going to point and chant, and you can chant with me. And after this, we start writing. We start writing the sentences. So let's begin. Ice cream is cold. Ice cream is cold. Rice is hot. Rice is hot. It's not cold. It's not cold. Chips are salty. Chips are salty. And they are tasty. And they are tasty. Let's eat. So, this is our chant. It's about food and taste. So again, it's very important that when you finish chanting, to write down on these lines, to write down the same sentences and to copy them. Now, I'm going to chant it one more time. So, uh, let's begin. Apples are sweet. Lemons are sour. Cherries are sweet. They are not sour. My soap is hot. Ice cream is cold. Rice is hot. 
it's not cold. Chips are salty and they are tasty. Let's eat. So here we, talk, we talked about the different taste, how it is cold and how it is hot and how it is uh, tasty. It means it feels very good to eat and other uh, tastes. Now, here we can change the words and chant. So here we can choose different types of food. For example, here we have pizzas, we have salad, tomato, cookies, sandwich. So we can choose a different type of food and also talk about the taste. For example, pizza is hot. Pizza is hot. Salad is cold. Salad is cold. Tomato is tasty. Tomato is tasty. Cookies are sweet. Cookies are sweet. Sandwich is tasty. A sandwich is tasty. So we can choose from these uh, different, uh, uh, different types of food and talk about taste. We have cold, we have sweet, we have hot, salty, tasty, sour. All of them, we can use them on uh, different types of food. And now, I would like you please to open your books on page 15. I would like you please to open your books on page 15. Now, on page 15, we have Ask and Answer game, where we're going to see uh, the questions from these two friends, and then we can do similar questions with other words. So let's begin. When our friend here asking whether if it's, uh, uh, what is the type of food he's going to talk about. So he asks, is it cold or hot? He said, it's cold, it's a fruit. So what color is it? It's yellow. Is it sweet or sour? It's sour. I know, it's a lemon. That's right, do you want one? No thanks, I don't like lemons, I like oranges. Mm -hmm. So here, this is a game, a simple game, where you try to guess the food or the fruit. So he is asking, is it cold or hot? The fruit. He said it's cold. The second question, uh, what color is it? He said yellow. The third question. Is it sweet or sour? He said, it's sour. So the answer was, it is a lemon. And our fr uh, friend Ali here says that, I don't like lemon. I like oranges. I don't like lemons. I like oranges. So, what do you like? Tell me about a fruit that you like. For example, I don't like tomatoes. I like apples. I don't like tomatoes. I like apples. So what do you like? What is the fruit that you like? Say, I like and I don't like. I like and I don't like. So, here you can choose a friend or maybe your father, your mother or your brother to ask or to play this game. So, how can you play this game? So, here you can ask three questions and you can use some of the words here in the box. So, for example, if we are going to talk about a sandwich and we need to ask three questions 
So we can uh, know the answer, which is finally will be a sandwich. We can have similar question to this. Is it cold? What color is it? Is it a, a sweet or sour? So here we uh, read the uh, words first. Sweet, sour, salty, tasty, hot, cold, fresh, round, small, and big. So let's try to make uh, questions about all of these uh, three types of food. Let's begin with a sandwich. You can ask, is it a sweet or sour? It's a sweet. Sandwich is a sweet. And we can say, is it uh, salty or tasty? Sandwich is uh, tasty. And you can ask, is it uh, hot or cold? Sandwich is hot. So they may figure, or your friend may say, ah, it's a sandwich. You see, now I'm going uh, to uh, guess or to ask uh, other question about, for example, uh, the banana. So we can uh, form question like, is it cold or hot? Is it uh, sweet or sour? Is it uh, small or big? Is it uh, round? Is it round or small? Is it hot or cold? The same goes with carrots. So here we have different types of questions that we can ask about these different types of food. So you can play this game with your mother, father, and brother or sister, or maybe with a friend. Just tell him that he needs to ask you three questions. And if he doesn't know how to ask question, he can use these words that we have here. And when he uses the word, you can guess, you can tell him what his answer is. Is it a sandwich, bananas, or carrots? And also remember that it should be like this. And you can ask him as well, what does he like or don't like about uh, food. So, at the end, it's, remember, it's very important that you can talk about food using the words hot or cold or sour or sweet, salty and tasty. So, when you're talking about food, any kind of food, a fruit, a pizza, or a sandwich, a soap, you can choose one of these uh, words. You can say, the soap is hot. Ice cream is cold. The lemons is sou are sour. The cookies are sweet. And the sandwich is tasty. So you can choose these words with your food. Also, it's very important to ask questions with or want and say what I like and what I don't like. Remember when we talk about food and when we say, I like carrots, I don't like bananas. Ali likes tomatoes. He doesn't like, uh, uh, he doesn't like sandwiches. So you can ask and have sentences like this by saying, I like and I don't like. And now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.